For as long as Telstra has been Telstra, their name has been synonymous with superior coverage and reliable services. But what is left once that value proposition that has long been forced down the throat of consumers starts to fall away with the introduction of the new technologies? In this episode of Telco Talk, we look at the most recent battle that has been won in the wholesale war between Telstra and Optus and how 5G is quickly proving to be a game changer in more than just the technology space. There's lots to discuss, so roll the intro. Hello, Jeremy Tyree, Managing Director here at Redify. We solve complex and everyday telco challenges for enterprise clients and also like to break things down in telco and news in Australia. This week, Macquarie Telecom Group Executive Luke Clifton has announced that Macquarie Telecom will end its existing relationship with Telstra and switch their mobile platform over to Optus. This $34 million multi-year deal provides 5G and all legacy LTE technologies, further highlighting the focus and importance of the 5G network that is playing in 2021. With Optus currently having more than 1,000 live 5G sites covering more than 830,000 households across metro areas, this is already rivaling the Telstra coverage that has currently only about 1 million customers connected. Optus has recently gone so far as to claim that their 5G network is faster than their rival, suggesting an almost 25% performance benefit, but are yet to clarify whether that's simply because they have less connected users or have found some way to actually improve a network. Macquarie Telecom noted that they are backing a winner. This is a familiar tune and sentiment of late, and calls back to the recent announcement that Aussie Broadband had to also make the switch from Telstra to Optus mobile networks. While Aussie Broadband only has around about 19,000 mobile users, they are certainly the cool kids on the block with their recent listing on the ASX and their dominance in the consumer space over the last 24 to 36 months. And all of this directly comes off the back of 2020 news and the tense negotiations that have been going on behind the scenes regarding the mobile spectrum distribution options. With Telstra recently up in arms at the regulatory policies of the Australian government and associated bodies that are suggesting to put in place the culture of competition and rebalancing an Australian telco marketplace. The government has recently recommended even guaranteeing Optus and TPG a huge slice of that spectrum in the upcoming auctions, but did not guarantee Telstra a similar piece of that pie. There's a rift between the telcos, not only whether the spectrum should be guaranteed in the first place, but then over the price to be actually be paid for it. Both TPG and Optus say unequivocally that Telstra should not be guaranteed any of the 900 megahertz spectrum. Further, TPG argues it should be guaranteed the spectrum at the auction's starting price. Ultimately, this is just another narrative in the long history of competing superpowers in the Australian mobile networks, which has been long dominated by the two big dogs in town. The mobile price war has been in a standoff for well over 18 months and both providers have effectively raised themselves to the bottom of price points they can offer their customers, with unlimited usage and minimal contracts now becoming the status quo for both consumers and even enterprise customers. Macquarie's switch to Optus is a big move in and of itself, given the reputation behind Telstra's mobile coverage superiority has long been an effective sales model for their wholesalers. This is particularly the case in business and enterprise customer markets. However, the move is more of a symbolic signal of the times and a healthy change for a market that has been dominated by the very few for such a long period of time. Will this mean Macquarie Telecom will become a major player moving forward? Perhaps. But in reality, the move to 5G is in a similar breath and will have a similar impact than that of the NBN service providers. The government intervention is significant when comparing to previous years, which it needed to be, to bring the Australian quality of services and prices in line with the rest of the globe that we've trailed for so long. There is no doubt Telstra is still number one and are best positioned to take their rightful place as dominant market share owners of 5G services. But the cards have well and truly been thrown up in the air and it'll be very interesting to see exactly how they fall. For Reedify, we are positioning our customers for the 5G revolution here in Australia and the ever increasing competition in the mobility space. While the majority of our customers, being enterprise and government, remain with Telstra or Optus for the perceived benefits and assurances, we will be looking to increase our customers' presence with the Telstra and Optus wholesalers once this 5G network has sustained itself and over the coming 12 to 18 months 
will be looking to take advantage of the 5G technologies and the continuous pricing of optimization models we produce every single month for our customers. So what do you think? Does Macquarie Telecom become more or less appealing given its recent moves from Telstra Optus? Our recent newsletter out to customers suggested a mixed feedback, but has certainly grabbed attention for certain customers asking about what this might mean for their mobile fleets. Thanks for watching this week's episode. Make sure to like and subscribe if you've received value from this, because it really helps. And until next time, check your bills and know your numbers.